or I try to stress is when you're comparing mortgage offers and also if you're contemplating refinancing or if you're even trying to buy a house, the two biggest pieces of the puzzle financially, what you need to find out is or shop for are the rate and the fees, the fees. And I'm gonna keep pounding that because too many people kind of get blindsided and they don't really pay attention to the fees. So what happens is when you apply for a mortgage, it doesn't, it, through me or anybody, once you apply, we have to issue what's called a loan estimate, okay? This is the best way to compare. Now, if you have not applied for the loan, what we could do is produce what we call a fee sheet. So if you've applied for a loan, you can get a loan estimate. If you haven't applied, we can construct what's called a fee worksheet. So let's go down through and I'll explain to you what the loan estimate does and why many times I ask you, if you've already gotten a loan estimate from another company, please send it to me. Why? Because I can help you compare your rate, your fees, and even the programs that you're fitting into. So what the loan estimate is going to tell me is this. The home value, that's on page one of the loan estimate. The loan amount. And well, the thing it doesn't give me is your credit score. Okay, so, but if you've already gotten to this stage, you probably know what your credit score is. If you have not, I have a sponsor of the channel that's called uh, Credit Plural Scores and More dot com. So just go to Credit Scores and More dot com, click step one, and just complete it. It'll take you three, four minutes tops and it will give you a credit score. Let me know what that credit score is, okay? That's the biggest components of your mortgage. So now I know the value of the home, the loan amount, your credit score. The only thing I need now is what term you want and other pieces of this puzzle, but that's the biggest component of it. So now let's get on to what your rate is and your fees and where to find those, okay? So when you get the loan estimate, page one is gonna give you all this information here. Page two at the top, you, I want you to pay attention to three sections. Section A, Section B, and Section J. All right, Section A is all of what we call your lender fees. It's gonna show if they have a processing fee, an administration fee, an underwriting fee, any discount points. You hear people calling, oh, I paid two points on it, or so forth. It's gonna give you all of the lender fees, okay? Section B is going to be other fees, such as credit report, appraisal fees, and other things. This isn't as crucial, but it is. it plays a part in the loan estimate, going over fees. Then there's Section J. Section J is lender credits. Okay, so what, what a lot of my clients get is I'll go through and say, you know what, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and waive all of your underwriting fees, all of our fees. So let's say those fees are 895 bucks. So in section A, it might read 895. Well, Dan, you said that you were going to give me a credit or not charge me that. Well, it's gonna show up right here in section J. You're gonna get a lender credit for 895. Brings my lender fee to zero. So basically that is the loan estimate, how we compare and how you can compare programs when it comes down to breaking it down to the rate in your fees. So I'm gonna go, if you hold on one second, I'm gonna go over an actual loan estimate with you and explain to, to you in more detail how to read this. So don't go away. Okay, so you now might have a little bit more understanding of what a loan estimate is. Um, but what I want to do actually at this point is I want to show you what a loan estimate is. And so let's get to that. This is what you would get if you applied for a mortgage. Every lender has to give it to you by law. Okay. That being said, let's break down what I said earlier when we were on the whiteboard. Uh, it gives you the company name right here. And this, this says it's a loan estimate. So remember, it's an estimate. Some of these numbers may change over time. It's our intention, not our intention to change it, but it can change over time. 
As I was saying before, it gives you right through here, it'll give you the property address. I waited out everything for uh, privacy purposes. It gives you the application's name, uh, property address, home value right here. It gives you the term of the loan. This is a 30 year term. It's a refinance. This would say purchase if it was purchase. Product, it's a fixed rate, conventional loan. It's a rate lock. Is the rate locked? Yes or no? When did it expire? It gives you all this information. That's why I ask you guys to send this to me. Then it breaks down the loan amount. So now I know loan amount and lo home value. Gives us the interest rate and it gives us what the loan payment would be. Just the loan piece of things. What I mean by that is it's the loan amount at the rate over this term comes out to a payment of this. Now, many times people escrow. Okay, what escrow means is it's down through here, is it adds your monthly homeowner's insurance, your taxes, real estate taxes, and if you have PMI, that PMI would be in here as well. So your total payment is your principal and interest, the loan payment, and then an escrow. Think of your escrow as a forced savings account, and I'm gonna explain that on page two when we get there. So then your total payment, including everything above, is $1,495, because it includes all the other pieces of the puzzle in regards to the mortgage payment. Then it goes down through here and says, the estimated closing costs are this. That seems absurd, but I'm going to show you how a lot of times we're not really gonna focus on this number right here. We wanna really micromanage and focus on page two. All right, so then here this says estimated cash at closing. This is how much money you would get or have to bring to closing. We try our darndest when you ask us to, to make this zero. We try really hard to make it zero, but many times it's almost impossible. Okay, so now let's go to the nitty gritty of this thing. We're talking cost, fees, and, and other stuff. Here is where I want you to focus. Page two. This is loan costs, okay? These three sections right here are loan costs. All right, and then it'll total down here. What we wanna see here is how much this is costing you to get the loan. All right, in this case, and this is an exaggerated form, this person was going to pay 0.803 in points to get the 2.99 rate. So they were pay, gonna pay $2,000 to get that rate. Processing fee is $483. Underwriting fee is $895. For a total, just in section A, of $3,549, okay? This is usually, this is where all the changes are normally made. Down through here, these numbers, as I'm gonna show you, normally stay pretty darn consistent even if you change mortgage companies. Here is where we completely wanna focus, all right? But let's go through what section B is. Section B is if you need an appraisal, how much that cost is. Usually it's between $450 and $500. Okay, that's, that's the norm throughout the whole country. Then there's a credit bureau fee. Usually it's about 20 or $30 for a single person or 50 or $55 for a joint, meaning two people on the application. Then we go down through here. Well, here, let me, go, let me re reiterate one thing. Services you cannot shop for. So we pick your uh, appraisal company and we pull your credit. Now down in here, these are things that you could technically shop for. You probably wouldn't even know where to start, but if you do, let me know and I'd love to work with you or a relative, friend, family, friends, it might even be yourself that works at a company that would be able to provide us this service. Usually the service right here down in this area is title, title insurance. Okay, let me explain title insurance real quick. Title insurance is required on all mortgages uh, basically throughout the whole country. It ensures me, the lender, that we are holding a first position on your loan. Um, and that all previous loans are being paid off. It also ensures me going forward that there won't be any encumbrances on your home, such as, let's say two, three years down the road, somebody comes in and says, ah, we got, a set, we got a mortgage on this that we're going to foreclose on that takes precedence over my loan. I can say, no, I have an insurance policy basically saying that this property, I'm the only lien holder on this. It also ensures me that your taxes are paid current all the way up to the closing. It ensures, okay, now let's flip it over. What does it ensure you? 
Well, if you're buying the property, it ensures that you don't have to worry about what happened to the previous owner. For example, let's say you bought the house and three years later, uh, somebody comes knocking on your door and says, you know what, Mr. Homeowner, we put a roof on this house t three years ago and it's $15,000. You owe us $15,000. And you're like, no, I don't. And you pull out this insurance policy and then that insurance company, whoever that is, would take care of that claim for you. That's in its simplest terms. So this is an area where you can shop, but most people don't. This is an area where you uh, cannot shop, but these fees in here are normally pretty darn tight. Here is the area, again, where there's huge discrepancy, okay? Then in this area, this these numbers will be basically concrete. This is the taxes and, and fees to record your lien at the county, which where you and where you live. We do not juice any of these numbers, meaning we don't add any additional cost to this. Whatever that price is, that's what's charged. Prepaids. This is how many uh, days of interest you would have to pay um, to close on such and such a date. What this number equates out to is basically the day your loan funds through the last day of that month. So in this case, there was 22 days. So that if it was a 30 day period, this must have closed on the 8th or funded on the 8th. So you had 20 days of interest at $22.46 a day equals that amount of interest. Again, all this is standard exactly if you closed with me or any other company, these numbers would be exactly to the penny, okay? The escrow, this is the piece that I was telling you about. For example, we get uh, your policy and it's saying that your homeowner's insurance is X, okay? We take that X amount and divide it by 12 and it comes out to this number here. Same thing with your real estate taxes. We took the real estate taxes, divided by 12 and it comes in here. And then, it's a, this is regulated, we, are, we determine how many months that we need to hold in your account from the day one so there's enough money in your account as your real estate taxes come due and as your homeowner's insurance comes due, okay? So these numbers should be exactly to the penny no matter who you go to or who you use. This number here, pretty much the same thing. It might vary by 100 bucks. This number here, same thing. It might vary by 50 bucks. So this, these areas right through here are really nothing that we pay attention to or too much attention to. We pay attention right here. Now, the last thing is right in this area, lender credit. A lot of times you might hear me say, you know, I will issue a lender credit to cover our, say, underwriting fee. So if I did that in this case, underwriting fee is $895, you would see here a lender credit of $895, so that would offset. So this is basically us giving you a credit to cover any of these costs. So that's where this comes into play. And then down through here, these are all the adjustments, takes all these numbers, starts moving them into places to come up with a final number, all right? So that is basically the breakdown of a loan estimate in its simplest forms. Again, recapping, this is page one, gives me the, home, the property address, value, loan amount, rate, term, locked, yes or no, goes through the payments, and then page two, the biggest focal point is right here. So that is it for the loan estimate. If you're in the process right now and you got one of these things, you're like, Dan, take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Probably 10% of the time I come back and says, you know what, you did a fantastic job. Sign, seal, deliver, close it, don't look back. 90% of the time, I scratch all over it in red pen and say, your rate, mm, I can do better. Your fees, especially section A, I can do, your fees on that one was three or $4,000, mine's eight ninety five, and then I'll write through it. The rest of it, why I don't focus on the rest of it, it's probably gonna be equated out to the same thing. It might be 100, maybe at max $200 difference at, at the most. But in most cases, that's where we're at. So that is um, the loan estimate in its simplest form. So if you like the video, thanks for watching. All I ask you to do is give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the bell down there so every time I do post a video, you get an alert. If it's something you wanna watch, cool, watch it. If it's something that doesn't pertain to you, don't watch it. If it's a video you're like, hey, this is really cool, share it, send it to friends, family. I'd love to hear from people all over the country. We're licensed, I think, we're, we're licensed almost everywhere except about four or five states. 
those states, I don't know if we're going to get licensed, but we're working on it. So I'd love to, everybody that calls, we can, we can help out. That's it for today. Um, if you want to check us out, go to therateupdate.com. You can give us a call at 844-775-LOAN. All that information is down below. If you're like, Dan, I really want to get the ball rolling and start right now, you'd hit the description uh, section down below and you can click the tab right there to start your application live as we speak. So God bless. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.